Well, hello, my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of Crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can choose a PNG file from Google and bring that into Silhouette Studio and go ahead and separate it in layers. So for today, I'm going to choose this little Minnie Mouse PNG. And I'm trying to choose something that doesn't have a lot of colors and that will be difficult to layer and something nice and simple for today's tutorial. So I'm new to Silhouette Studio. I do have the business edition. I did used to um, use Adobe Illustrator, but I switched to Silhouette Studio just due to a price range. And I'll go into a deeper video about that later. But for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create layers out of this PNG file. So the first thing is I brought the file into Silhouette Studio the PNG and I just made a duplicate so I could just keep the original on the left hand of the screen and I'm gonna go to my trace panel it looks like a little piece of toast and I'm going to trace the image and I'm do I'm going to do a complete full trace this will allow me to have the base layer of my design and I'm going to go ahead and select it all and I'm going to change it and to a color a fill color and I'm going to remove the cut line now that I've done that I'm going to bring the image back onto the panel here and I'm going to go back to my trace option my trace tool And now I'm going to do um, a second trace. That way I can separate. So I can start in separating each color by layers. So I'm gonna move the image out of the way and we're gonna start with the traced image. I'm going to select the image and I'm gonna click on release compound path. And what that does is just separates all these little lines so we can start creating our layers. Now depending on the different colors that you have in your design will determine how long this would take. That's why I wanted to choose a design that didn't have much colors to separate. We'll just be separating the um, face, the nose, and the bow and tongue. So I'm going to start with removing the face. I'm going to select it, the image. I'm going to just add a fill color. And using my eyedropper tool, I'm going to get it exactly to the original color. I like to remove the cut line by making it a transparent. Now I'm going to start on the mouth. I'm going to go ahead and choose the outline of the mouth. I'm going to select it, add a fill color, and remove the cut line. And I'm going to continue this process throughout all the elements in the mini space. Just using my eyedropper tool just to get the colors to match. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I just want to practice using all the tools and get better at Silhouette Studio. So currently I like to use uh, Silhouette Studio to make my SVG files and my template. I kind of like to use different programs besides Pretty Design Space and Canva. I try to switch it up. Like I mentioned, I did use um, Adobe Illustrator and I was trying to self learn that, but you know, the price point was just a little bit too much to pay every month. So I like that Silhouette Studio is just was a one fee and I did choose the business edition. 
so I can save my files and export them as PNG and SVG. Now for the bow, when I traced the bow, I really didn't like the way that it looked. So I'm going to bring in another bow later and trace that. So now I'm going to work on the eyes and we're almost done with the design. And this didn't have, this um, particular PNG didn't have many layers, so it wasn't that bad to separate them. But if you had a design that was very intricate, it had a lot of layers, it would take a little bit longer. And I'll do another video with that and I'll try and see what that would look like as well. By separating the layers, you can use this file. Um, because this is copyright, I would say for personal use, you can use this file if you wanted to cut this out in vinyl and use it to make stickers or preferably a t-shirt or something like that. And just a good way to just learn different aspects of being creative. Definitely something you can learn here at Crafting with Shanita. And if you're enjoying today's tutorial, all the tutorials I have on my playlist, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of the Crafting with Shanita family. Right now we're working on creating videos weekly. So we're very excited to share and give you some tips and tricks to help you in your crafting journey. Now for the eyes, I'd want to take my take my time and make sure I didn't make it lopsided. And so now that everything is complete, I have all the layers separated. Um, I should have grouped them by color as I was separating them. But since this was my first time kind of playing around with it, I learned for next time to just, as you're separating, just group it by color. It'll be easier. So I went through and just grouped them. And now I'm going to add up the bow. Um, I found a bow online and uploaded, merged that into the um, design so that way I can trace the bow and include the bow as well. So I found this bow online. So I'm going to go to my trace tool and just do the same thing I did with the mini. I'm going to trace the outer edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another trace. I really like using the eyedrop tool. I Once I found about found out about this tool, I use it in pretty much all my projects if I want to get that perfect color um, to match up. And then for the little dots, I didn't feel like tracing that, so I just brought some a circle in and made my own little dots. And then I just grouped the dots by color and sized it right on top. Of Minnie's little head. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure that I have everything. If I want the colors grouped, have them all grouped and remove those cut lines. And just make sure all of the elements are nice and sized. And then I'm gonna save this as a SVG so that way I can upload it into my Cricut Design Space. Now that everything looks good and I like the final outcome, 
I'm comparing it with the original, orig original photo. I'm gonna go ahead and upload, save this and upload it into Cricut Design Space and cut it out. I'm actually gonna use some scraps for this. So this is a really good project to use up my scraps. And I'll come back and we'll start putting everything together. So everything um, cut out really well. It was just the eyelashes. Um, I'm just gonna place them individually. And then I'm just going to go color by color and using my clear transfer tape, I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, um, assembling the layer. This came out really good and I'm excited to do more layers. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little bit or a lot, and we cannot wait to see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!